It's a pleasure to be with the 10th Premier of Alberta, the Honorable Peter Lougheed, in a very historic setting. Uh, we're in the boardroom of the law firm of Bennett Jones, uh, which uh, Mr. Lougheed is a, is a member of, a firm that was co-founded by his grandfather, Senator Sir James Lougheed, uh, along with uh, R.B. Bennett, the uh, one-time Prime Minister of Canada. And, uh, the association with the University of Alberta, Peter, goes back many, many years uh, to when you first enrolled as, as an art student, and that was 48 or 49? 47, actually. 47, actually. And so uh, two degrees, an uh, arts degree and, and a, a law degree from U of A. You know, I believe that you're the only premier of Alberta to be an alumnus of the University of Alberta. Really? How interesting. And of course, you have fond memories of, oh, yes. of the university. You met your bride at U of A. I met Jean there. I was in the tuck shop, and uh, we were up for spring training for football. And this beautiful girl came in there, and I said to Dunk Stock, well, who's that? She sa he said, that's Jean Rogers. We went to the university uh, high school together. I said, I'd love to meet her. And so it followed, and we met at the tuck shop, and uh, went on from there. From there. I had to work hard at it because she was in the cover of the phone directory and this pretty girl and uh, she was getting a lot of phone calls so this jock from Calgary had to work hard to do that. <laughs> it was her interest in uh, arts and music uh, that led your government and I'm going ahead here we'll yes. come back but it led your government to a remarkable investment in the arts. I think three foundations for That's the arts. Right. It, it, it emanated from that. I mean, I was truly a jock, and she was a very wonderful a soprano. And so uh, I, out of that, I got an appreciation for the arts, and uh, it grew. And so when we came to government, uh, well, she, first of all, uh, when we talked about the cabinet, uh, it was Jean's idea that we should have a Ministry of Culture. And that was really key to have a Ministry of Culture. There wasn't one in Alberta ever before. So back to U of A in the uh, late 40s, or early 50s, uh, and the uh, courtship with Jeannie and, and, and the football, uh, I think some of the groundwork for your political career was laid there. You were elected president of the Student Union at the University of Alberta. And then, in the 1960s, there were people who prevailed upon you to become leader of the Progressive Conservative Party of Alberta. And I think among them, uh, were two former student union presidents, Lou Heinemann and Jerry Amarongan. <laughs> you got your facts right. Lou Heinemann and Jerry Amarongan were two of the people that approached me to become a leader of the Progressive Conservative Party, which had never held office in Alberta in its history. And uh, we had absolutely no seats, none, zero. So we were not starting on the main floor, we were starting in the basement. No government is entitled to be unopposed. Why did you do it? I did it because I was challenged. I wanted to go in public life. Uh, I felt that I, had, I could make a contribution. I was looked at my grandfather's career and I wanted to continue that. And so I wanted to go into public life and I wanted to go in Alberta, uh, where I was a product of the University of Alberta and was part of the, of the province. Hello, Peter Waheed. What's the name, sir? Ted Ewing. Nice to say hello to you, Ted. Nice I appreciate a chance to come by and meet everybody in the district. Well, I so that was the decision, and it was, well, it turned out to be obviously the right decision. So you had the breakthrough in 1971, August the 30th of 1971. That's right. 49 seats and 46.4% yeah. uh, of the vote, and uh, social credit wasn't far behind with about 42% of the vote, close. but they only had about 25 seats. So, That's right. And it was Edmonton that pretty much did it for you. You had a clean, yeah, a we clean won, and we it never forgot that. We won every single seat in Edmonton, and uh, when we were elected in my seat of Calgary West, we rented a, an aeroplane and came up to Edmonton, and we almost had a crisis there because we the, the people were so excited they stormed the airplane at the old municipal airport, but that was quite a night. Looking back on your 14 years in office, what would you say were the chief initiatives uh, that you can uh, remember uh, 
vis-a-vis uh, -vis the University of Alberta? Well, I think the most important one was that we wanted to lead the country in terms of support for post-secondary education. And that meant, obviously, the largest, uh, which was the University of Alberta. Declare Athabasca Hall reopened. Enjoy yourself. Uh, we also wanted to continue to get people to the, in the private sector to donate funds to the university for special programs. And so we had a matching grant plan where we match whatever we would get from the private sector, and that was an important one as well. And then we very much focused on scholarships. We wanted to have very much the scholarships uh, a key factor. We were fortunate to have the resource revenues in the Heritage Fund. Um, now then, I believe that your government was the first to bring in a standalone Ministry of Advanced That's Education right. as well. That was an important move. What was your thinking behind really that? really important. Well, we looked on it and we said, if we're going to emphasize advanced education, if we're going to assure that the technical schools, the SAITs, work with the colleges and work with the universities, we want a minister responsible for just that. And I think of the decisions we made, Jim, in those very early times of setting up the government, that may have been one of our most important things we did, because it really worked. And to encourage young Albertans to pursue careers in research in medical sciences. One of the great initiatives that you brought in as Premier was the Alberta Heritage Foundation for Medical Research. Right. Could, you, could you tell us a bit about that? And the, well, the we, thinking when we set up the Heritage Fund, we wanted to do something uh, that was really significant with it. And so we spent a lot of time talking about it. And then we had a visit from the two deans of medicine from the University of Alberta and the University of Calgary. And it, the timing couldn't have been better because we were just in the process of saying, what should we be doing? And they came forward with the concept of the Medical Research Foundation being an element of the Heritage Fund. I believe you have a reputation, among many other things, for being always very, very well prepared. I'd like you to tell us about the time that you were prepared for a student march on the legislature. Oh, yes, that was interesting. But the just, annual student march. It, was, well, it wasn't quite <laughs> annual. And we knew it was a very large number, Jim. It was a huge number. And they started their march down. And uh, I knew about this, so we rented the, the loudest loudspeaker in all of Alberta, and we put it out on the front steps. So I got out on the front steps, and as they came around the corner towards the front of the legislature, I said, welcome, welcome. We're glad to hear you. We're looking forward to hearing from you. And there's room over here, and there's room over there. And then I, <laughs> President Gunning was there, and I knew he was there. And I said, President Gunning, don't stay way back there. Come up and stand beside us while we hear from the student representatives. Oh, he was so annoyed, but he had to come. Mm -hmm. But it was one of those experiences. Uh, in retrospect, it was, it was serious and important. Uh, but also, it was a way to handle crowds, to be there, to, to meet them, to not sort of uh, shelter yourself in the building. And I, from then on, I don't think there was a demonstration in any later year that I wasn't in the front steps with a very loud loudspeaker. And you probably earned the respect, if not the, the support, of the students as a result. <laughs> well, it was, they were just puzzled by it. it I, don't, I don't remember how it ended up. I hope it ended up well, but I do remember the, the event. Well, speaking of ending up, I believe that you may want to uh, have a greeting to the University of Alberta on this 100th anniversary. I do. I just want to say that I'm very honored to be asked to participate in this special evening, uh, to be a part of it, uh, to be with you on this occasion and to participate in the way that I've been able to with my memories of uh, being a graduate of the University of Alberta, as is Jean, uh, of our years there, and thinking about uh, being in government and working with the many terrific people that were involved in the university. And I, I want to join with all involved in wishing the university, Madam President, you and all the other people in the faculty, everybody here tonight, the very best in the next century for the University of Alberta.